we're going to make pester meat, which is a salted cured spiced meat. Um, it takes about three to four weeks for it to come to completion. And uh, I'm hoping to have this finished by the time my parents come to visit. So I'm starting it now. Uh, for this, we start out with some meat. This is an uh, eye of round. So it's, you know, kind of the tougher cousin of the sirloin. <clears throat> it's got fat on it. We need to trim that off. I, I want to keep track of kind of what the total production cost is. Uh, online, you can, you can buy this and it's, you know, not particularly reasonable uh, because it's not generally produced in the U.S. Um, <clears throat> but here we're going to give it a go. So this is a 6.16 pound roast for $5.99 a pound. So the total is $36.90. And the first phase is basically to trim this down, cut it into uh, an appropriate size, which is about uh, maybe 10 centimeter by uh, five or six centimeter, and then heavily salt it and let it sit uh, salted uh, to remove the water and blood. We also are going to press it between um, two, two pans and every day subtract the uh, fluids that come out. So let's begin. Just trim this. You also want to cut off the silver skin. Now it's, it's all trimmed. Uh, we've lost a considerable amount of uh, fat and, and surface. Uh, but I'm going to cut this in half now and hopefully shape this into two uh, reasonable size shaped. Sturma. Oh, loaves. <laughs> Pasturma. Meats. Okay, there we go. This one's a little bit thicker than the other, not a lot. Should be okay still. Uh, pretty uniform thickness for both all the way across. So now we're going to uh, salt these. Before I do that though, I want to, to weigh to see exactly what we've uh, lost. After losing blood in the package and uh, losing trim, we are at, uh, the small one is at 2.5 zero one so two pounds 1.5 ounces two pounds 1.5 ounces the other one is at two pounds 8.2 ounces so the net is basically four pounds 10 ounces Okay, 
basically we are going to dry these out uh, to the point that they become actually firm and stiff in the fridge or if we had a you know, cellar or something we could do it like that but right now just uh, salt in place is going to be good. Now I'm trying to be a little bit concerned about the height differences, but uh, we'll see. For now, I'm going to use this cutting board as my pressure board and I'm going to use these bricks which I've been using in my in my uh, barbecue outside as the weight And we're going to put this in the fridge and every morning we're going to come in here and uh, take out the, the liquids that have set there overnight. And hopefully within a week or two, this is going to start looking like pastrema. <laughs>